All right, so this next one is something I was doing in New Zealand. It was part of a 48 hour film competition. Um, this is actually in uh, Miramar, you know, it's not too far from Stone Street Studios, where Peter Jackson, all them sort of, I wouldn't say live, but where they all kind of work. A lot of them do live there as well, um, just because it saves so much time. In the morning, I lived around the corner, I lived about a five minute drive, nice little drive in the morning when I worked on Avatar for half a year. Um, so that was pretty cool. But this is, yeah, not too far away, just like over the hill, sort of like. There's a hill that divides it, there's a beach and all that stuff. If you ever see my Tanifa thing, that beach was actually like part of Miramar, you know, it's this whole peninsula, even got the airport on it. Um, but anyway, so to this story, uh, this video commentary, I gotta tell you, like, uh, so Graham Burton was this guy who was on the news at the time, he was like a local, like, crackhead or whatever, and he used to rob some people and get into car crashes and all sorts of crazy shit. So um, this dude, at first he wasn't up for, he was a bit grumpy, and then like, I don't know, he was actually pretty good when he was on, but you know, he was hungover, he like, had a headache, so it was a bit of a weird one. Um, but we had a nice sort of shining day, got no lights, got no real film equipment, just had my cheap little camera. Um, again, 4x3 ratio when everybody else was doing widescreen at the time, so I wasn't even taken seriously, I don't think, for the competition, but I thought I had the best twist and the best like uh, original idea. There was one other like uh, group that I thought really cool, and they won the next year, surprise, surprise, because it's all rigged, that's what I found out, they had their favourites. Um, huh, nothing new. Um, these were some of my, my boys at the time, my homies. Uh, mainly her, she was like my best female friend at the time. Um, and that was like a boyfriend on the left and the right was another dude. After the shoot, I was like, yo, Chief, what up, man? You got some love? And he's like, nah, man, you got no love. Because maybe like, he had to jump on the floor for like 100 takes. Um, can't remember like why he was like pissed off about that, but you know, <laughs> feet through on I suppose. I mean, like, look, they got tied up. Come on, it's like a film, you know? Like, it's not like I like, asked him to do it again, you know? It's just this one time. Uh, we shot this all in the afternoon, I edited all, all that night, didn't even like party much. Maybe we had a drink after rap or something like that, but that was about it. Um, and yeah, because it's 48 hours, I had to finish that little improv at the end there, a little bit of gangster. Um, and then coming up to the whole twist, which is like, oh, he's a complete nut job. Um, he's wacko, so it turns out me, the Tyler Durden, Brad Pitt character, he, you see my look, um, wasn't real. It was all in his head. Um, and then like how oh, this rope comes off, it's like pretty easy, there's a uh, like crap job of tying. <laughs> she like wiggles her like, little wrist and all that stuff. But yeah, here's a twist like, who is that dude? And what was he talking to himself? And then here he's just like having an episode. So who knows if it even like, if it's real, if it happened, if it's all in his mind, but he's got like some twitches. You know, here is, um, I don't know, I didn't quite know how to direct him there. I was just like, look, did you piss off? Just like pissed off, just be yourself. And then yeah. Maybe I had it go on a little bit too long, but you know, show a bit of mental sort of depression and all that stuff, like AKA Joker, everybody's into it now, but look, I did this back in like 2007, man, you know, I was doing pre-Joker. Um, but yeah, some cheap old credits did this all in <laughs> Windows Movie Maker at the time. That's why I edited the first two years. Uh, music, classic, location there. Um, yeah, it's her house and that's it. All right, medication for the unknown. Ciao. Kia ora.